Finally, uh, at the midpoint, we want a couple concentrations. And uh, you're going to get this formula in your, uh, when you're doing the post lab. This essentially comes from finding the concentrations and uh, that can be derived through a stoichiometric table. But essentially what's going to happen is the acetic acid concentration, which will equal the assay ion because you're at the midpoint, and so those two concentrations have to be equal. That's going to be half uh, because you're reacting away half of it in order to get to the midpoint of the initial uh, molarity of the acid times its volume divided by the volume it takes to get to the midpoint which is the initial volume plus half the base volume added to get to the equivalence point. Because halfway to the equivalence point is where you find the midpoint. So, and then that's minus 10 to the minus pH at the equivalence point. You're gonna find out this number is so small, it's really not gonna make a difference. So it's basically gonna be negligible compared to this number. So when you plug in the numbers a half, we had the initial molar molarity of the acid, we have the volume, and then here's the volume plus going halfway uh, of the amount base added. We're going to get this number right here for our example, 0.0364. And that's going to be pretty much the same as the acetic acid, uh, acetate ion concentration, which is what we would expect.